Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Mr. Bitcoin Maxi. Now, what if I told you that by 2028, owning just 0 0.01 Bitcoin might put you in an exclusive club that most people simply cannot afford to join? I know that sounds absolutely insane, but stick with me because I'm convinced the math behind Bitcoin scarcity is about to blow your mind in this video. Now, right now, as I'm recording this in late 2025, 0.01 Bitcoin costs around $1,230. Now, that might seem like pocket change to some people, but we're running out of time before this becomes impossible for the average person. Now, let me paint you a picture of what's really happening here. Bitcoin isn't just another investment or digital asset, okay? It's the first truly scarce digital commodity in human history. And we're witnessing something that has never happened before in the world of money. Now, I want you all to think about this for a second. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. That's it. No more, no less. Here's where it really gets interesting. We're not even talking about 21 million people being able to own one Bitcoin each. The reality is much more shocking. Millions of Bitcoin are already lost forever, sitting in wallets where people forgot their passwords or threw away hard drives. Conservative estimates suggest that at least 4 million Bitcoins are gone forever. That leaves us with roughly 17 million Bitcoin that could ever be in circulation. But now wait, it gets even more intense. Major corporations like Tesla, MicroStrategy, and El Salvador aren't just buying Bitcoin, they're hoarding it. These institutional players are accumulating massive amounts and holding them for decades. When a company like MicroStrategy announces they're never selling their Bitcoin, that removes even more from the available supply. Now let's talk about the wealthy individuals. The Bitcoin whales who own thousands of coins aren't planning to sell anytime soon. Now, they understand what's coming. They see the same mathematical reality that I'm about to show you. Now, here's where the scarcity math gets absolutely wild. If we assume that only 15 million Bitcoin will ever be actively available for trading, and we divide that among the world's population of 8 billion people, which is crazy to think about, that gives us 0.001875 Bitcoin per person. That's not even 0.002 Bitcoin per person on Earth. But most people don't even know about Bitcoin yet. We're still early, very, very early. However, awareness is spreading fast, okay? And with awareness comes demand. Now, every time somebody learns about Bitcoin scarcity, they want to own some. Every time a country faces currency devaluation, more people rush to Bitcoin as a store of value. Now, I want to run some scenarios, okay, with projections based on adoption rates and price appreciation. If Bitcoin continues to grow at a conservative rate, we're looking at a massive price increase. You have to understand Bitcoin has historically grown at an average rate of 50 to 70% annually over the past decade. Now, if we assume much slower growth going forward, the numbers are staggering. Now, consider this scenario, okay? If Bitcoin grows at just 25% annually from today's price levels, now by 2028, one full Bitcoin can be worth over $300,000. That means 0 0.01 Bitcoin would cost $3,000. Now you all have to understand, for many people around the world, $3,000 represents a month's worth of salary. But if Bitcoin grows faster, what if institutional adoption accelerates? What if more countries follow El Salvador's lead and make Bitcoin legal tender? The price could reach ultimately $500,000 or even 1 million per Bitcoin, much sooner than people expect. Now here's what really keeps me awake at night though. It's not just about the price going up, it's about the fundamental shift and who gets to participate in this new financial system. Now, right now, if you're watching this video, you still have a chance to accumulate meaningful amounts of Bitcoin. But I'm telling you right now, if you made it this far into the video, that window is closing fast. Real estate in Manhattan or San Francisco 50 years ago, regular people could afford to buy apartments there. Now, today, only the wealthy can participate in those markets. The same thing is actually happening with Bitcoin right now. But it's happening actually much faster because Bitcoin supply is absolutely fixed. Now, the psychological impact of the scarcity is already becoming apparent. When Bitcoin was $100, right, people thought they needed whole coins. When it hit $1,000, people started thinking in terms of fractions. Now, at current price levels, people are talking about stacking Satoshis, the smallest units of Bitcoin. Now. By 2028, I predict that owning 0.01 Bitcoin will feel like owning a full share of Berkshire Hathaway stock. Yes, I did in fact say a full share of Berkshire Hathaway stock. It'll be a meaningful amount that represents real wealth, but it'll be out of reach for most people who are just getting started. Now, this creates what economists call a wealth effect. As the price of Bitcoin rises, people who own it feel wealthier and spend more, while people who don't own it feel left behind. 
the psychological pressure drives even more demand, pushing prices higher and making entry even more difficult for newcomers. Now, I'm telling you all right now, here's the part that gets really interesting from a sociological perspective. Bitcoin ownership is becoming a form of generational wealth transfer. Parents who understand Bitcoin scarcity are buying it for their children. Families are gifting Bitcoin for birthdays and graduation. This creates concentrated ownership patterns that further reduce the available supply. They're not waiting for perfect timing or trying to time the market. The countries and institutions that understand this dynamic are moving fast. They're accumulating as much as possible, while regular people are still debating whether Bitcoin is actually legitimate. What makes this even more urgent is that Bitcoin's inflation rate is constantly decreasing. Every four years, right, the mining reward gets cut in half through an event called the halving. This means new Bitcoin enters the market at an ever slowing rate. Now we're approaching the point where daily Bitcoin production will barely cover daily demand for new investors. So in turn, what does this mean for you? Now, if you're thinking about accumulating Bitcoin, every day you wait makes it more expensive. Every week you delay means you can afford less. Every month that passes puts you further behind the curve of people who are actually accumulating right now. Now the goal isn't to scare you into making rash decisions, okay? The goal is to help you understand the mathematical reality of what's actually happening. Now you have to also understand Bitcoin isn't going away, okay? The scarcity isn't going to change. Now the only variable is whether you're going to be part of that group that recognized this opportunity while it was still accessible. By 2028, I, Mr. Bitcoin Max, I believe will look back at today's prices as the last time regular people could afford to accumulate meaningful amounts of Bitcoin. Now, the people who understand this now and act on it will be the ones who benefit from the greatest wealth transfer literally in human history. Now, the math is simple, okay? The scarcity is real and the opportunity is real. The question is, will you be among the few who secured their 0.01 Bitcoin before it became unaffordable? Or will you be among those people who wished they had? The choice is still yours, but not for much longer. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about 0.01 Bitcoin and how much you guys are currently trying to stack. I read all of your guys' comments and I appreciate you all if you made it this far into the video. I'm Mr. Bitcoin Maxi. We're all Bitcoin Maxis. Have a good day.